In this video, as we welcome the second week of April 2024, I'm excited to introduce some must-have latest Fallout 4 mods. Let's start with a few intriguing gameplay-related mods. First up is Addiction Overhaul. This mod introduces a natural addiction rating decrease, allowing your addiction levels to diminish over time as you play the game. In vanilla gameplay, the only way to lower addiction levels is by using Addictol. But this mod changes that approach. It allows for a natural decrease in addiction levels over time, enhancing the immersion factor of your gaming experience. Next up is VRAM R. VRAM R is an automated utility for both Fallout 4 and Fallout 4 VR, optimizing your texture mods to reclaim valuable VRAM, improve performance, and reduce stuttering. Moreover, it requires no scripts, ESPs, or the need to start a new game. VRAM R is an automated utility that optimizes texture files for your Wabajack, Nexus collection, or personal and unique load orders. The process involves registering this utility in your mod organizer, or Vortex, and then running it, as detailed on the creator's mod introduction page. Although not a mod itself, this utility program has been introduced to help automate the optimization of texture mods. Next up is Stimpax, Heal No Limbs, F4SE. This mod alters the functionality of Stimpax, retaining their health restoration effect while removing limb healing effects. While other mods completely replace the Stimpax effect to remove limb healing, this mod maintains the health restoration effect based on a percentage while only removing the limb healing function. You can choose between the regular version and the Robco Patcher version. When used alongside mods that either heal limbs or temporarily ignore pain, this mod can be quite excellent. Next up is You and What Army 2. This mod is an expansion that allows players to properly rebuild the Minutemen as a faction throughout the game. Integrated into the world of the game, it adds 30 small Minutemen outposts that appear as the player progresses through the Minutemen questline. Additionally, it includes Minutemen patrols moving between populated settlements and these outposts, as well as three new workshop objects unlocked upon completing Minutemen quests. Experience the Minutemen as they help rebuild and maintain order in the Commonwealth world through this mod. Next up is Better Chems. This mod modifies the chemistry in Fallout 4 to provide you and others with a better chem experience by adjusting the duration and addiction chance of chemical substances like Medex, Buffout, Jet, and Mentats. For detailed changes, you can check the Nexus mod's website, but generally, the duration increases from a minimum of 1.5 times to a maximum of 12 times, while the addiction chance decreases by about 50%. Additionally, MedX now reduces limb damage by 75% for 300 seconds and restores limbs to 100% condition, making it more enjoyable to use in combination with the previously introduced Stimpax Heal No Limbs mod. If you've been hesitant to use chemical substances due to their short duration compared to the addiction risk, this mod might be helpful for you. In this segment, I'd like to introduce several outfit mods. And first up, let's take a look at the Wanderer's Vault Suit. This outfit combines a vault suit with a leather jacket, creating a rather lore-friendly attire. It includes a new vault suit outfit with a customized leather jacket. This outfit is available in both male and female versions and is compatible with both vanilla and CBBE body types. You can craft this outfit under a new category at the Chemistry Workbench. Next up is the Pip-Boy Glove. This mod adds the Pip-Boy Glove from Fallout New Vegas, which is customizable and upgradable. It's a left-handed leather glove available in three colors. Next up is the Honkai Impact Outfit. This mod adds Honkai Impact Outfits, including body slides for CBBE users. It offers a casual feel, allowing players to experience the essence of Honkai Impact within the world of Fallout 4. Next up is the Scavs Vault 111 Jumpsuit. This mod adds a rather new feel to the Vault Suit. While maintaining the essence of the original Vault Suit, it adds a sense of adventurous exploration in the wasteland. Particularly, accessories like goggles around the neck, 
a radio transmitter attached to the left chest, and leather belts and pocket pouches blend well with the vault suit, offering a feel of a wasteland explorer. Next up is Lucy's Vault Tech Backpack. This mod adds the backpack Lucy uses in the Amazon Fallout show to the Fallout 4 game. The backpack is upgradable and can be found outside the blue Ford building near Vault 111. Initially, the backpack adds plus 125 carry weight, and you can increase this value by upgrading it at the armor workbench. With its texture and overall design, the backpack complements the vault suit well, and the yellow sleeping bag on top is considered one of its charming features. In this segment, we'll introduce several weapon mods. First up is the Select Blaster. This weapon adds Lucy's tranquilizer pistol from the Fallout TV show to the Commonwealth. We thought it would complement the Vault Tech outfit and backpack we introduced earlier. The firing mode is single shot, and the mod also includes its own unique ammunition. If you're aiming for that Lucy from the Fallout TV show vibe, this weapon might just do the trick. Next up is the Incendiary Launcher, Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This weapon adds a four-shot soy missile launcher. As part of the Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion series, it offers custom models and textures and appears on leveled lists in shops after level 24, as well as in the hands of wasteland bosses, super mutants, and more. You might even find unique variants in locations like Gunner Headquarters, Roadside Pines Motel, or with Proctor Teagan. If you're a fan of missile launchers, this mod is worth a try. Next up is Cowboy Carbine, Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. This weapon adds a new vintage style 357 Magnum Carbine. Based on the Winchester Model 1907, this mod introduces a new semi-automatic carbine with over 50 new attachments, custom models and textures, and custom animations. It uses 357 ammunition and appears on leveled lists in shops and in the hands of raiders, minutemen, and some gunners after level 14. Additionally, you can loot three unique rifles in locations like Super Duper Mart, Coast Guard Pier, and Fort Hagen. Next up is Thumper, Grenade Launcher. This mod allows players to create and use the M79 Thumper Grenade Launcher in the game. It's a redux version of Sean S's M79 mod, featuring new textures and animations. Despite its rugged appearance, this grenade launcher fits well with the unique atmosphere of Fallout, and its firing sound and reload animation are remarkably well done. While it's a single-shot weapon, its area of effect damage can help players escape dire situations. However, be cautious, as improper distance management may cause the player character to suffer damage as well. Thanks for watching this showcase of the latest Fallout 4 mods you need for the second week of April 2024. We've explored some fantastic additions to enhance your gameplay experience. From immersive gameplay tweaks to visually stunning outfit and weapon mods, there's something here for every wasteland wanderer. Stay tuned for more mod showcases and gaming content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest videos. Until next time, wander the wasteland wisely and may your adventures be legendary.